But when I got that phone call, I was already sitting down on the couch and uh, received the phone call that said they actually had two perfect matches. You talk about a grown man crying. What a moment. And those moments just keep coming, from facing terminal cancer to getting a second chance, all because of a stranger, a stranger who joined the Gift of Life Bone Marrow Registry and then ended up donating when he learned that he was a perfect match. Turns out both men are from right here in North Texas. Our Robbie Owens was there today for, as you'd well imagine, a pretty emotional first meeting in Dallas. More excited than nervous. Great, great opportunity for me today. So what do you say to the stranger who donated stem cells that saved your life? Jiva, oh my gosh. Oh, man. Thank you, thank you. Oh, my pleasure. So good to meet you. Me too. Really, thank you. Oh. Well, for one thing. Welcome, welcome to our home. Welcome, no one's welcome. a stranger here now. This is a great, great moment in my life. Pharmacist Howard Shalinsky had a loving family, a great life, when chronic lymphocytic leukemia threatened to take it from him. They gave me about six months to live. Like, okay, if you want, I'll swab, no problem. But what the father of three couldn't know was that Akiva Roden had already joined the bone marrow registry. His brother had organized a drive to help a family friend with cancer. That friend later found a match, and Roden became one. I can't really put it into words. It's just, it's, it's really... It's really incredible. I'm just, I'm just like so thankful that, I'm so thankful to God that, I, that he gave me the opportunity. This is the culmination of everything that we do. This is what it can lead to. So will you be the next stem cell lifesaver? Someday they're gonna know somebody who's going to need it if it's not themselves. And uh, now, now is a great opportunity to step up and, and get swabbed. Today's just been a great day. Thank you. In Dallas, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News. Don't need a whole lot of words, do you?